Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Today I'm really excited to show you what I discovered when I was laying in bed one night. I figured out how to show the Yoast SEO plugin breadcrumbs in a Divi module. You can place this module anywhere on your website and even put it in the theme builder and you can style it right there in the module. So let's get started. I'm really excited about this one. All right, so obviously, for this tutorial to be relevant to you, you would need to be using Yoast SEO on your website. If you're not, well, it's just not going to be something you want to watch because it's just not going to apply. But I want to show you this if you are using Yoast because I think it's nice and handy and you don't have to install another plugin just to get breadcrumbs. All right, so basically we want to add a kind of, I, th I would say, secretive hidden short code into our Divi layouts and we're going to show you how to do it real quick and then I'm going to show you on this site on PA Creative how we're using it in our documentation area so don't miss that. All right so basically you know you can learn more about breadcrumbs and stuff from the Yoast documentation. I have that linked here um, so definitely go check that out. Um, so yeah if you're watching this on YouTube this blog post is in the description link there so you're going to want to go check that out. Okay, so here we go. The first thing, we have to enable the breadcrumbs. Um, at first, I when I found this shortcode, I was like, why isn't this working? But then I realized you've got to go in here. So I was already here. But basically, under the SEO tab, Yoast SEO adds this, this menu item called SEO. So then go down to Search Appearance. And I was already there, but just clicking on that. So then you would see these tabs here and click on Breadcrumbs. All right, and then right here, breadcrumbs settings, and then you can see enable breadcrumbs. So go ahead and enable that. So it has to be highlighted on enabled there. Here you can see a couple options like this little separator. Oh, we could change that and the text for the home page. You might want to say home page or I don't know, something else, something totally different. But other than that, I haven't really adjusted any of these settings. Just go ahead and click on the blue save changes button all right and so that was step one the second step is to add the short code to divi and so we're basically just going to copy this because or you can type it in whichever is easier for you but it's wp seo underscore breadcrumb so kind of simple but you know we're going to add this it's html so we could add that in a code module but I prefer to add it to a text module because you get more styling options in a text module. So let's go over to our website. I'm going to do it right here. So I'm going to go ahead. I need to refresh my page because I just enabled breadcrumbs. All right, so I have a blank Divi layout here. I'm going to add a new module and choose a text module. And then basically switch to, you know, it's going to be on visual by default. Just switch to text makes it a little easier when you're on text, which is like HTML, it should just say that, but go ahead and select everything and then paste your short code or type it in. Again, it's WPSEO underscore breadcrumb. Um, and of course it's a short code, so it's between those brackets. Now in the preview, um, it's not going to show much except home, um, but you know, we can start styling the text if we want. Like let's say we wanted our, our text to be bold can see that it changed there maybe we want it to be larger um, you know something like that and we want it to be purple okay I don't know if it'll change or not let's see so let's save these changes and exit now I do have this particular page set up as a child of another parent page so I just wanted to I did that so that you could see more of the hierarchy and here you can see it okay so here we go so it's home and then we have our divider and then parent page, like I was saying, and then short code demo. So this one is a link. This one's a link. That's why they're red, because on this particular website, my links are set to red. OK, um, so that explains that. The last one here, the short code demo, that's this current page. And then I have this page, the parent of this page as parent page. Wow. And then um, home, of course, is like the main home. So I could click any of these so I could go to parent page here. Of course, there's nothing there because I just set this up 
for the demo. But anyway, now I'm going to show you how this looks on our website and we're going to come back to customizing this a little bit. So over on our documentation area, it would be the best place. So I, this is a theme builder template. I'm going to show you the back end. So basically I just have, you know, a featured image here and then I have this short code. I mean, you, it doesn't, it's not, yeah, it's a short code. It doesn't look like a short code, but it is. So it's home and then docs. And then this is Divi events calendar. So if I go to one of these other pages, so like this document is a child of the Divi events calendar document. So you can see how it's going and making that hierarchy. So now when someone's viewing this particular documentation article, they can just always, always, always have this button here to click back. Okay. So they'll be like, oh yeah, um, I want to go back to the homepage and they could look here. Um, but then you can you just always can click on that. And so that's great. And then if you were like, well, I want to go to the main documentation area, then you could click that. Or I just want to go to your homepage, you could click that. Okay, so that's how that looks. Let's go dive into the back end. All right, so here I am in the Divi Theme Builder template for that particular documentation area. And so the preview is just saying home and then that. But see how see how this is global? I just set this, this as global because it applies to all of my documents. So, um, you know, I don't need to change anything. It's in my theme builder template. So I have this exact same module and, you know, for my Divi responsive helper plugin documentation. So there it is. It's just in here in a module. All I've done is add this short code here in this template and it automatically populates on whichever page, you know, which any documentation on our website, any of them, um, it's pulling in this exact same short code. So it's kind of cool how you can use it with the Divi Theme Builder. And of course, if you're new to the Divi Theme Builder, check out my course on the Divi Theme Builder because it, it will it will change the way you use Divi for sure. All right, the last thing in this article I say about styling it, and you already saw me do that with you know changing the color and the font size and whatever. Um, but I decided to throw in a couple bonuses here. So like, let's say you want to change the the link, something about the link. Here I have a snippet and I was saying here in this code, like you might want to add a custom class and style this here. So like, you know, you only want to affect the breadcrumbs, these links. So just go to your text module where the short code is, go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes and then right in here just just add a class like like PA breadcrumb links for example and then go to you know get your get your um you know CSS snippet here and then put it like in your theme options or in your child theme I'm going to put it right here for now and you notice how it all of a sudden um, changed the font size just like that so if I change it again see and maybe I'll say something like text decoration underline had to add important um, we'll add we'll keep it like that and then we'll we'll exit here so there you go so now these links are bigger than this text so this text for the text for short code demo is what is um, taking effect from in the module settings the font size and then I am adjusting just these links if, if you wanted them to be bigger maybe you'd want them to actually be smaller um, and then like highlight the, the current one or something like that. Now, if you want to style this current one, I have that here as well. So that's actually um, a class that the, that the module, sorry, that the breadcrumbs adds. It's called breadcrumb underscore last. So I'll just show you that if I put that in here as well. So I'm just putting it in here the same place. And again, we're not really going to be able to see it um, because it's, it's not previewing it here. Let's do it something else. Um, yellow. Okay, so it's just breadcrumb last. And you could put any other things in here you want. You know, the font size, font weight, things like that. And there you go. And I can barely see it because I just made it yellow. Um, but there you go. Hope this little kind of a tip slash tutorial was helpful um, if you're using Yoast SEO and you want to show breadcrumbs and especially in the Divi Theme Builder. All right, so that's how you show breadcrumbs in a Divi module. And that's pretty, um, I, th I think it's a pretty cool trick. If you do 
let me know. Be sure to join us over in the Divi Teacher Facebook group because there is where you could show some examples. Where did you put it? Did you put it in the theme builder? Did you put them on certain pages or categories? And I'd love to know how you styled these. So if you find this type of thing useful, be sure to subscribe. This is the type of stuff we're going to keep putting out. All right, well, we'll see you in the next video.